Hello everyone, this is Tulia Mutation. I'm sorry for being inactive for a while. This time we are going to be learning how to make requests and it's basically RESTful APIs. You can actually research it by yourself. We are not going to be going too much in depth in this video since we are only going to learn how to use APIs in Disco.py. So before all of this, we need to set up how to do it. Now, in order to get requests from other websites, you may know a module named requests but um, we are not going to be using requests since request is synchronous while discord.py is asynchronous. So for an asynchronous version of, version of a request, we are going to be using AOHttp. Now AOHttp is already pre-installed after you install discord.py through pip install. Anyway, as you see, we have AOHttp installed. Now another thing that I want all of you guys to do is do AOHttp and then square brackets speed ups. Now what this does is that, is that it installs new modules so it can replace old modules of what AOHttp uses. And these new modules are way faster than the previous ones, which is why you should install it for better performance. For all of this, let's check, let's just import AOHttp and now we're ready to go. So first, we're going to do the very normal client, client.command and then async def and then just test we are going to be changing it soon um, cdx and now we are going to do async with this is quite different so pay attention aohttp dot client session and then a bracket we gave a bracket because client session is a class in the AOHttp module as session. And then we are going to do another async with session dot get. So now it's just a requ normal request get if you're familiar with that. And now uh, we are not really going to be doing anything. So let's just do dot dot com and yeah except we are going to be using this part for, for almost every api calls we do so r now we are going to do r dot status in order the reason why we are doing status is that because we can't really use some sort of because we can't really use the normal try or accept thing if you're if you know that it's the error handling we do in Python um, in order to error handle through web calls we are going to be working with status and okay so if ours dot status 200 this 200 basically means okay means that the API is perfectly working we are going to await ctx dot send working Okay, and then else, basically whatever. If you want to work more with status, then just do elif r dot status and whatever. So we're not going to go too much complex. So let's just do r dot cdx extend. Um, oops, we're sorry. So this is the format we are going to be using for our future API calls. Um, but for now, let's just run it and let's see if everything is working. All right, so the bot is running. Let's do question test. Yep, it's perfect. If you basically want to learn more about this REST API status, then I encourage encourage you to go to restfulapi.net and then HTTP status codes. Basically, you're going, you can learn a lot about the status codes and you will understand and this is where i got 200 okay you can learn more from this video from this website and this will be in the link in the description below anyway thanks a lot for watching this video and goodbye